hello and welcome to Sit Notes. It's been a pretty mad week. I know many of you don't agree with all the things I say, but I think there's a kind of general understanding between us that you kind of like the way that I put things across, and that's really healthy, I think, in any kind of debate. You know, I kind of want this channel to be like us having a chat down our local pub so we could talk about medicine and experience of medicine. Um, and you may not necessarily agree with everything, but we just like the way that we talk about things. Um, I've also noticed that in the reviews I do, many of you enjoy me talking about sort of personal experience that I had and sort of reflections I had. So it's not just about the actual practicalities, but you know how it affects you as a person. And I wanted to try to highlight that a bit more in isolation, like do videos on particular things. So that's why I wanted to start a little bit more of a, a casual video kind of series, just talking about kind of how it affects you and certain more human experiences that you pick up in medicine. Last week I worked, um, I covered a shift at my local hospice. Now I worked last year full time as a hospice doctor and it was one of the most incredible experiences I've done. Like without doubt the care that was delivered there was the best that I'd ever been involved with. Um, a lot of people have misconceptions about a hospice, thinking it is just for end of life care. Obviously, that's a really important part of it. But they do lots of other stuff, like symptomatic control of, you know, end stage diseases, and things like, you know, supporting the families in everything from finance or emotional support, spiritual beliefs, and things like that. Um, this week, um, this month, one week is the Death Matters Week, so I wanted to bring out highlight some of that kind of discussions on death and things like that. So when I tell people that I worked at a hospice full time, a lot of people would turn their head to one side and give me a sigh saying, how oh, is that, you know, really depressing? And certainly some of the things that happen there are depressing, but you also see such a real side of life and such um, incredible human spirit, both in the patients and the relatives and all the staff providing care. And that just gives you this incredible sense of feeling alive really despite this you know ultimately people being there for end of life care very often i did find myself being a lot more of a quieter side of my personality outside of work but i was no means sort of down about things i just had like a lot more perspective and was a lot more reflective on things and i kind of appreciated things a lot more as well so anyway i'm gonna i've spoken to my the hospice that I worked at and they've allowed me to do a couple of videos there so I'm going to be bringing some more reflections on my time there in the in the next few weeks which I'm really looking forward to but one thing you know just to round off what's been a pretty mad week I wanted to play a little song <laughs> now I used to be a musician I, I say that because maybe I ain't what I used to be but I wanted to kind of bring something a little bit different so this is a song about all the little things that would kind of hit people when they realised their loved ones weren't coming home. It's called Never Wanna Say Goodbye. Never want to watch you go to the shadows Never want to see that day Wait for hours in and out of space and time Never want to say goodbye Never want to take your thing from the hospital Never wanna turn the key If you ain't home Even when my eyes have dried Never wanna say goodbye I never wanna hold on hope Though I have to Wanna be right by your side 
Even if you walk away, don't need to know a reason why. Never wanna say good. Thank you for listening. Have a great weekend and I'll see you soon.